there. It's Sandra DeFreitas of WPBlogSites.com. Today I want to show you how I got this Google Plus badge on my site and how easy it was so that you could do it. So you could um, show people your profile, a little bit about yourself here, your follow button, and how they can follow you easily, and then also list the number of followers that you've got. It was quite easy to do. I'm going to show you how to do it. And all I had to do was plug in the code that they give me, and I'll show you how to do this, in a text widget in WordPress. If you're not using WordPress, you could just pop in the code um, in an HTML editor or wherever the software that you're using you normally lets you put HTML coding. All right, so first step, we're going to go into plus.google.com. And when you do, you'll see a bit of this. And you're going to go to view your profile on the right. All right. Once you go there, you're going to see you've got your cover page. Uh, you've got your cover design here. If you don't have one, click Change Cover, and you know you don't have one if it looks if it's very colorful, like the default one that comes out. So you could always pick one that they've got or upload your own. Okay. So once you've done that, you're going to go over here, and I'll put this in the links below. You're going to go to this link, and you're going to create yours. So. Um, it already picked up that because I was already logged into Google Plus. It picked up to use my Google use this yeah, Google Plus user ID. Um, so we've got a couple of things. We just want an icon. No, we want the full badge. Cool. So we're back to the badge. And then you can display it many different ways. So portrait or landscape. Um, I find with portrait kind of looks a little better. And then you want to decide how wide it needs to be. And that will all be based on how wide your sidebar is or how wide your, uh, where you're putting this is going to go. Okay, for me, it's about, uh, mine is about two, three hundred. Uh, sorry, mine sidebar is about 300. So you could try 300. If that's too big, come back and make it a little smaller, maybe like 270, 275, and keep working with that until it's the right size. if you don't already know how big or how wide it is. And you can choose between two light color schemes. You've got light and dark. I don't know why. I kind of like the dark one better. Usually I like the light, more colorful one. And then you can disable your cover photo. So even if you don't have one, you can disable it. Um, so it doesn't show just a blank uh, white piece that I had before, before I put in my cover. And then do you want to show your tagline? I'll show you how it looks without a tagline. I just put mine in. And then what you're going to do is you're going to go here, grab this code. grab all the code and copy it. So control A and control C or command A and command C if you're on a PC. And then you're going to go to your WordPress site, go to appearance widgets. You're going to go to text, grab a text um, widget and put it on your main sidebar area. I'm going to put mine at the top of the, my demo site here. And then I'm just going to copy my code there and save it. So once that's saved, I'm going to go to my demo site and we'll see it on my sidebar. Okay, here we go. So too big for this sidebar, so I'm going to always go back and switch it, make it smaller, but you've got the idea. So there you go. That's how you can put in your Google Plus um, badge for your site. Enjoy.